It says, quote, the greatest lesson from Jobs' career is to keep the doors open for people like him. The world needs to have opportunities for an adopted child raised by a working class family. It needs to have second chances for people who drop out of college. It needs not cast out someone who would take LSD and travel to India and become a Buddhist. Job, wa jobs was and did all of these things, and he helped create the 21st century. You know, I think he, in a secular way, he was a terrific spiritual leader of our time. He was the kind of Dalai Lama of personal computers. If I can just read one more line from that famous Stanford commencement address. Your time is limited, so don't waste it living someone else's life. Don't be trapped by dogma, which is living with the results of other people's thinking. Don't let the noise of others' opinions drown out your own inner voice. That alone is a legacy of Steve Jobs, especially at this time. He said he wanted to put a ding in the universe. Do we even have any idea yet, Rick, how big a ding he put in the universe? Well, you know, the notion that uh, Einstein and others have said is that the universe ultimately is simple. That was Steve's philosophy. He, sim simplicity was the beauty that he was always striving for, and that's why he was a perfectionist. You probably can never reach it, but it's a great aspiration. Uh, you know, don't... Matt, when I was a kid, I, I was a jukebox nut. This is my jukebox at my age. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Steve Jobs. <laughs> Tom Brokaw, Rick Stengel, and again, a special edition of Time Magazine hitting stands tomorrow, featuring the cover of Steve Jobs. We're going to have much more on his legacy a little later, but for now, let's get a check of the rest of the morning's top stories. Savannah Guthrie is your latest weather. And Al, thanks. As we noted, Steve Jobs revolutionized almost every corner of our lives. We knew his products, yet in many ways, he was an enigma. But during a commencement speech at Stanford in 2005, Jobs got very personal. Your time is limited, so don't waste it living someone else's life. Don't be trapped by dogma, which is living with the results of other people's thinking. Don't let the noise of others' opinions drown out your own inner voice. And most important, have the courage to follow your heart and intuition. They somehow already know what you truly want to become. Everything else is secondary. So he also leaves us with some wisdom. We're back in a moment. But first, this is Today on NBC. Good morning. Good morning, guys. And in the news today, the passing of Steve Jobs is being mourned by millions of people who never knew him personally, his customers. NBC's George Lewis is at Apple headquarters in Cupertino, California this morning. George, good morning. Good morning, Savannah. Visitors to Apple's website will see this, a simple tribute to Steve Jobs, a man who valued simplicity in the design of his products. It was the classic Silicon Valley startup story. Jobs and his high school buddy Steve Wozniak uh, building their first Apple computers in a garage. The company going on to employ more than 47,000 people worldwide. In addition to computers, uh, Jobs was present at the creation of the first iPods uh, in 2001 the uh, iPhone in 2007, the iPad in 2010. The company changing the way people consume media, changing the way uh, people talk on the telephone, uh, fundamentally altering the, the, the landscape of technology worldwide. Steve Jobs had been battling ill health for some time. He uh, was diagnosed with pancreatic cancer in 2004, underwent a liver transplant in 2009, stepped down as CEO of Apple six weeks ago because of his failing health. Savannah? All right, George Lewis outside Apple headquarters. George, thank you. Democratic